Reporting from the Q Television Centre with news from your region. We are the first for news that matters to you locally, regionally and nationally. This is QTV News. Good morning. This is the Lifestyle News brought to you by QTV. I'm James Devlin. A Derry postman who unwittingly carried a letter bomb for over an hour has called for better training for postal staff. The postman delivered the letter to the offices of the Public Prosecution Service in the city last month. He had also unknowingly taken the device into sheltered accommodation for the elderly. Police say the package was similar to two other devices addressed to the Chief Constable and another senior officer. They were found in postal sorting offices in County Antrim. The Royal Mail employee doesn't want to be named. It's understood he's taken time off work to recover from his ordeal. People in Dungiven say they'll continue to put pressure on the Regional Development Minister to create bypass plans for the town. Another white line picket aimed at Danny Kennedy will take place in Dungiven on Friday the 6th of December. A number of residents say they'll continue to picket after plans for the bypass were overlooked in October, despite additional funding being made available by the Stormont Executive. Northern Ireland's two building societies are to merge. The Progressive has assets in excess of £1.6 billion and around 100,000 members. It's joining forces with the City of Derry Society, which has 2,500 members and £42 million assets. The new entity will be called the Progressive. There will be no compulsory redundancies. Well, that's the latest. Stay up to date online with Lifestyle and listen to Q Radio. Good morning.